Hello, I am a full stack developer and a top rated plus freelancer at Upwork.com. All right. So first of all, we have to create a droplet. Okay. Here we need to first of all select the droplet region okay so i will choose bangalore okay and next we have to choose operating system okay so i will choose ubuntu and i will go with the latest version okay and i will choose shared cpu because i am doing it for testing purpose if you have further requirements you can choose dedicated cpu as well so cost will vary and here we need to choose cpu options i will go with the regular disk type okay and i will choose this package next i have to create my password this will be required during ssh all right next we have to enable the monitoring it is free so next what we have to do we have to enable IPv6 networking next we have to give a name to our server I will give name app server okay all right so we can create our droplet it will take one minute to launch your droplet to use all right our droplet is ready just click on your droplet and here you have to just copy your public IP address okay and open your terminal we will do SSH to our Ubuntu server for this you have to write this command and your IP address yes it will ask you to enter your password which we have created earlier in this part of video okay so I will enter my droplet password all right i am connected with my server so here we need to first install some packages okay on our server first of all we will update all the existing packages on our system for this i will use sudo apt get okay and update so it will update all the existing configuration system packages on our system next we have to install nginx on our system okay nginx is being installed okay we are done with nginx installation next we have to install python 3 and pip for this you have to run command sudo apt install why python 3 python 3 pip okay so this command will install python 3 and pip okay so python 3 and pip is being installed on our system okay so next we have to install virtual environment on our system for this we need to run command sudo pip3 install virtual environment okay so you have to run this command so virtual environment will be installed on your system okay all right next we have to start nginx okay we have already installed on our system so we can run this command system ctl start nginx then we need to enable nginx as well i will just replace start with enable all right so next we have to just reload our system manager configuration for this you have to run command system ctl 
time on reload okay so now we are done with all the installation now we have to clone our Django project for this I will copy my Django project okay for this I will just copy my github repo and I will paste the link here so it will clone my project okay all right so so now I will go into my project directory which is cd drf blog project okay and here you can see all the files are in my project directory okay so what I will do here I will just create a virtual environment for my project for this I will just run this command okay so virtual environment is no created so we can activate virtual environment source env bin activate all right so virtual environment is also activated next we have to run few commands for example we have to run pip install requirements dot txt this file will install all the packages available in my requirement.txt file okay all right all the packages are installed next we will install django and johnnycon to make sure django and johnnycons are installed okay already installed next we need to run migration and migrate command python manage.py make migrations okay no changes detected next we can run command migrate all right all the tables are created next we have to run command collect static okay so we can just update it collect static so this will copy all the collect static files of our project next we need to make sure white nice package is installed on our system so i can confirm it okay so it is already installed so next we have to configure johnnycon on our system okay for this we have to follow some commands and okay for this i will use my article i will add this article link in my video description so you can copy some commands and files content so to create socket file you have to just copy this command and paste it in your terminal okay then we need to copy this content and we need to just paste this content in this file all right next we need to just save this file all right next we have to create johnnycon dot service file just copy it and paste it here and then you have to just copy the content of this file and paste it here here you need to change few things first of all you have to replace this project directory name so my project directory name is drf block project so I will just update it Okay, I will just copy this I have to replace in my second line as well okay so we can just update the path here as well next we have to replace the folder name where our settings.py file is so my folder name is I think code I can confirm it as well if I go into my project okay it is blog okay so I will just replace the name with this folder okay all right so here we need to just save it all right so service file is also created okay so next what we have to do here we have to run these two commands okay 
so we can start and enable Johnny Khan services and we have to copy this command as well all right so we are now done with Johnny Khan next we have to install and set up our nginx okay for nginx file first of all we have to check if any already existing file is there so we have to remove it for this you can just copy this command and paste it here and check if file is there yeah file is there so what we can do here we can remove this file because we will create a new file here all right so file is deleted so what I can I can also deactivate my virtual environment okay so here you can see we have deleted the file next what we have to do we have to create our nginx configuration file here just copy this command so make sure you can replace the same name where your settings.py file is okay so I have replaced with blog so you can make sure if you're using your own repository to so you need to just make sure the path and the folder name is correct just I will run this command and here I will just paste this content so here I need to also replace the project directory name I have to just insert and replace it drf blog project okay all right next we have to replace the static file location as well which is static files okay in case you can also check your static files folder name is static files are static something so you make sure uh, the folder name is correct so in my case it is static files that why I have replace with the static files okay I will just save it next what we have to do here we are done with our nginx file creation okay so next we have to enable it for this you have to simply copy this command okay just copy it and make sure name of the path okay is correct here I have used block because in above command I have also used the block so I will just copy this command here and I will paste in my terminal okay so almost we are now done with our nginx so here you need to copy this command so we can add this username for example in our case it is root so I will just add it okay so next we need to just run these few commands so we will be done with our configurations next we have to copy this and the last one command is nginx restart I will just paste it okay so now what we have to do we have to just go to our droplet and we have to just copy our public IP address and we need to just paste it in our browser okay so you can see our project is successfully deployed and set up okay so this was our part one okay in next part we are going to discuss how we can write our ci cd pipeline using jenkins okay because next time if we push our code so it will be automatically deployed and changes will be live all right so first of all we have done our django app setting on our app server now we have to set up our CI CD pipeline for this we are going to create a new droplet okay where we will set up 
Jenkins for our CICD pipeline okay so you have to choose any region you want to choose okay I have choose New York okay and here we need to choose Ubuntu machine okay and we can go with 22.04 long term support version okay of Ubuntu operating system okay then we have to choose a droplet type okay here I am going to use basic because I am doing it for testing purpose if you have a different requirements so you can change it to the dedicated CPU as well okay so next we have to choose CPU option okay I will go with regular and I will select this option okay and then here we need to create a password okay and this password will be used for SSH okay later on in this video next we have to click on advanced option here we need to enable IPv6 networking protocol all right here we need to give name to our server I will give name Jenkins server all right so here we need to just create our droplet okay so our droplet will be created meanwhile let's open the terminal okay in the terminal we have currently we are logged in into our app server okay here what I can do I can add a new tab okay in this okay uh, you can see here this is our tab for our app server so I have created another tab for our Jenkins server okay because it will be required some communication between these two servers okay uh, for the setup that's why I have opened both the servers terminals okay together so here I will SSH to my new server which is Jenkins server root okay here we need to just enter the IP address so we can SSH okay our Jenkins server is almost ready okay so what I can do here I can just copy the public IP address okay and then I can just paste it here okay yes and then it will ask us password okay permission denied I think we need to wait uh, maybe it is being set up okay so it takes time some time okay we can just refresh and then we can do SSH again okay no let me copy the public IP address again all right and next I need to just paste it here okay no let me enter the password all right we are no connected with our Jenkins server as well okay so next what we have to do here we need to just follow few things we need to set up and install Jenkins on our Jenkins server okay so for this I have written as few commands okay in my core repository that I will share in my video description okay so this is our setup.sh okay in this file I have mentioned all these 10 points okay where you can set up your Jenkins alright so this is our some commands we will copy these commands one by one okay and we will run these commands okay so let's start first of all I need to just copy this first command okay and then I will just run this command in my Jenkins server droplet okay so it will uh, update all the packages of our system okay it's done alright next we have to install JDK okay Java version for this you have to copy the second command and paste it here okay yes so the packages are being installed 
next we need to check the java variants to make sure if the package java is installed successfully or not okay for this just copy this okay and then we will just run this command whenever java jdk will be installed all right so jdk is installed so we can check java variants you can see it is installed now let's move and we need to copy our fourth command okay here we need to copy it and this will add the jenkins repository key to our system okay so i will just copy and run this and next i need to copy the command number four five so this command will add the jenkins repository to our system and this is our fifth command okay so let run this command okay all right next we have to copy the six commands to update the package index of our server again okay so i need to just run this command next what we have to do here we need to just copy the seventh command which is installation of jenkins okay i need to just run this command make sure the command is correct okay yes and we need to copy the eighth command which is to start jenkins okay so meanwhile the jenkins is being installed and we can wait when the jenkins will be installed we will start the jenkins using the start command all right so almost our jenkins is installed okay so what we need to do here we need to start our jenkins using this command okay and next we have to do we have to enable our jenkins as well okay so let's run this command now make sure you follow the video as well okay because if you just directly follow the script you can miss something which i am explaining here okay so next we have to copy the command number 10 okay to check the status to check if the jenkins is started or not okay you can see jenkins is active and started okay cool what we have to do next we have to know uh, visit the jenkins okay we can just go to this url okay port number 8080 okay and with our server ip address okay so i will just copy it okay and i will open a new tab here all right here i need to replace the public ip address okay i will just copy it all right so here you will see we are no logged in okay we are now visiting our jenkins server okay here we need to enter the password how we can get the password for password you have to just go to the script and you can just copy this line this command okay and you have to just run this command here and you will get the password okay just copy this password and go to your jenkins browser okay so just you have to enter it then you need to install all the suggested plugins okay so we can just make sure all the plugins are being started to installation okay cool we can wait for it can take only one to two minutes to install all the plugins all right here we need to just create a username okay so we can make sure we should need this username and password later on when we will logged in when we will need to log into our jenkins server so i will just create a username and password django project 
email admin at the rate gmail dot com so you can enter your as well okay so I have no created a uh, username as well I will just finish it all right so here we need to further make sure a uh, two plugins which is one is github and the second one is slack we need to make sure these two plugins are installed on our system okay so just go to manage plugins and here you have to select manage plugins okay so if you can just go and check slack and you will see global slack notifier okay so this is also slack notification so we can install this okay and we need to restart our system as well download and restart okay so the slack notification is being installed okay and our Jenkins will automatically restart alright so Jenkins is being restarted because we have added a new plugin okay next what we will confirm that github plugin is installed or not all right so our Jenkins is now restarted we need to just enter our username and password we created earlier all right so next we need to follow the same procedure like we have to go to the manage Jenkins okay and manage uh, plugins okay where we can install and check if our github plugin is installed or not so just go and manage plugins and here you can check if the plugin is installed or not just go to install plugins option and write github and we need to just type github okay we can see the github plugin is already installed okay next what we have to do here we are now done with our Jenkins setup okay next just open uh, your VL studio code okay the project we have okay here we need to discuss few things that we have Jenkins files what is in this Jenkins files okay and we have a deployment folder okay where we have a script so we will discuss these two files okay and then we will just push our code to the github okay here what we need to check okay first of all you have to notice there is one node in this Jenkins file first of all we have a try block okay and then we have a catch block okay first in the try block if new changes occurred on github okay it will check it will trigger with Jenkins okay uh, to uh, check if there's new changes in the code it will get pull okay next what it will do it will do testing okay if the tests are successful it will move to the next stage which is a deploy stage okay on the deploy stage we are moving to the new file which is deploy production file okay which is being located here okay here we can see first of all in this uh, file we are doing first SSH to our app server from our Jenkins server so we need to make sure this IP address is belong to the app server so you have to just make sure you can just go to your uh, digital ocean droplets okay here you can copy your app server okay I will just copy the app server public IP address okay and I will just replace this public IP address here okay so here we are just doing a CD to our main project folder name then we are going to get pull okay 
and then we are going to activate our virtual environment okay that we have already uh, created okay all right so in this we are just installing uh, packages requirement.txt if there's a new changes and migrations okay and migrate okay and also we are uh, restarting our Jonicon and nginx services as well in this file okay so this is our deployment production file okay and this is our jenkins file if the deployment is successful okay we will get message on our slack okay that our build is successful and deployment is successful okay so we will just know if any case in any case if we are not able to like uh, build successfully okay so we will get an error okay on the slack that the build is failed okay so this is our the jenkins files okay so we are now good to go okay if you have your own project make sure the path and the names are correct or you can use my project okay to deploy the first time and then if you want to use your project then you can just make sure uh, the path project uh, main directories are same okay uh, if you have a different project a folder name to make sure to replace these names all right now let me just update my git because i have added these files all right okay so no we are done next we have to create a new job for this just go to your jenkins dashboard here we need to create a new item okay for this we can just give name django app and multi configuration project or we can yeah we can choose multi branch pipeline and click on next okay so this is our cid so this is our ci cd pipeline configuration and here we need to uh, choose our build configuration okay okay here we need to add a source we can add a git source okay because we are going to uh, use a github code okay so i have just selected git and here i will just enter my repository link okay so i will just copy this okay and this project is public okay and that's why we don't need to add a password for github okay if you, your uh, repo is private then you can just add your uh, credentials for your github okay then you will be able to use a github uh, repo here okay next what we have to do here we need to uh, make sure after every minute or two minute okay uh, github should be triggered if any new changes are on our github okay so the build will be automatically started next what we have to do here we need to just apply okay and we need to just save it okay so here what we have to do let's just start a new build two builds are started so you can see both the builds are failed okay so here the magic will start we have to first debug why the build is failed just go to the console okay and you will see where the issue we have faced that's why our build is failed just scroll down okay here you will see we are getting stage step okay and yeah this is the error slack notification failed because we have not configured the slack yet okay now let's go to your dashboard okay here you need to just go to manage jenkins okay then you need to click on configure system here we will add some configuration for our slack notification i will show you how we can add this okay 
you have to just go to the slack configuration it will be almost below okay so here we go and this is our slack all right okay so we need to fill this form okay so we can then make sure our slack is configured properly for this what you have to do here make sure you have a slack channel already okay so we i have already created a slack channel okay and uh, uh, then i have to just create some configuration for this just you have to visit this path open this url in your new browser okay just hit enter okay make sure your slack okay slack organization account is correct here you can change if you want okay and then here you need to just add jenkins integration okay for this you have to just simply a simple process you have to just enter here jenkins ci integration you have to just simply select your channel okay i have created jenkins channel okay this is my jenkins channel i have created so i will receive notification in this channel okay so let add jenkins continuous integration okay what you have to do here you have to just copy few things if you scroll down okay you have to just copy this token first of all okay and you have to go to your jenkins here you need to add a secret okay just click on it here you need to choose secret okay secret file okay secret file we can say our secret text so we are just adding secret text so we will add secret text okay and we will add secret text here okay and we will just add so our jenkins secret key is there next we have to add the workspace name okay so my work save so my work space name is deep fake okay so what i will do here i will just enter deep fake which is my slack a uh, name okay and here we need to write our default channel where our notifications will be pushed so my default channel which i have attached to jenkins configuration which is jenkins okay i have given name so i will just give name jenkins okay so i have to just test connection that my configurations are set up properly or not okay for this you can just test if your configurations are set up or not for this you can just apply okay and then you can just test connection you can see it is coming as a failure it mean your uh, jenkins is not set up properly here okay if you notice one thing i have written the workspace deep fake okay let me confirm if my uh, slack name is same or not you can see it is deep fake world okay so i have to write complete name of my a uh, workspace of slack so i will just go to my jenkins okay and i will add the complete name of my workspace and ne next we need to just test connection okay success it's mean uh, connection is set up properly okay and here i have received the notification as well it's mean jenkins is properly configured with our slack okay so what i will do here i will just apply and i will just save it okay so no we are done next what we have to do here next do next we have to just open our configuration okay and next you have to just build it again let's see what happened if we try to build no okay 
our build is started and it is failed okay now let's open the console output so we can see where the mistake is okay so you can see here script failed okay no we are not getting the issue from slack okay slack is working fine you can see slack is notifying okay we are getting a message from jenkins that build is failed okay the reason is we are trying to do ssh from our jenkins server to app server okay which is not happening okay which is not allowing for this now you have to go to your terminal and we need to make some permission setup there let's go to our terminal now for example this is our let me just ssh again here to my all right this is my jenkins server i need to just ssh again okay i am done i am logged into my jenkins server okay also you have to make sure you are logged in or you have ssh into your app server as well what you can do here you can just ssh to your jenkins server as well sorry to your app server this is my jenkins server i am done with ssh okay here i need to do ssh to my app server okay so what i can do here i can just go to droplet and i can copy the ip address of my app server so i can make sure my ssh should be successful then all right no i am logged into my both servers jenkins and app server okay first of all you have to keep in the jenkins server side okay here we will do some configurations okay so we can get access to our app server when we are doing some pipelines okay okay so in our jenkins server what we have to do we have to just uh, switch our uh, user from root to jenkins for this just you need to uh write this command okay and now we are switched to our jenkins user okay here we need to just uh, get the public key of jenkins server so we can authorize our key okay so here we will get a public key okay so we can so here we will get some secret keys okay and then we, we will use these secret keys to our app server okay so just you have to run another command so we can get a secret key ssh id rsa dot p u b okay so this command you need to run okay so it says no directory found okay so for this what we have to do here we have to run another command first which is ssh key generation okay and rsa so this command try to just run just keep entering okay so our key will be created now what we have to do here we need to run the previous command again let me clear my browser okay my terminal is now cleared next here what we have to do we have to just run the same command earlier this one okay and you can see here we have no a complete secret key we have to just copy this secret key okay and then we will use this secret key in our app server okay then uh, app server will allow us to ssh okay from this jenkins server 
okay so i'm just copying it I need to just save it somewhere okay you can also save the secret key somewhere in the text file okay so we will use this later on in this video okay so here you need to just go to your app server okay so what you have to do first of all you need to create a directory okay you can give name directory okay just run this command okay dot ssh okay so this directory will be created okay then we have to just do a nano okay so we can create this uh, file okay and we can paste our content here what i will do here i will just do a nano okay dot ssh authorized key okay so it should be this like okay so this is the command you need to make sure the command name is totally correct okay then what you have to do here you have to just run this command okay and here you need to paste your uh, secret text okay secret key which you have here on your jenkins server okay so you can just copy this okay and you can just paste it here okay when you are done you need to just save it you have to just write it okay and you need to just then exit okay so i'll write so i am now done with my uh, secret key of my jenkins server i have added there okay so no i have to do another command so we can allow this file okay to do ssh access for our jenkins server dot ssh and we need to copy the same content from here to avoid any mistake of file name okay and then we can just run this command okay no you have to do here you have to just go to your jenkins server we need to verify one thing okay we can no check that we can no uh, do ssh from our uh, jenkins server or not okay this is the case for this you have to just do ssh root and ip address of our your jenkins uh, your app server okay for this you can just go to droplet and copy the server name okay sorry copy the ip address of app server okay and then go to the terminal okay your jenkins server terminal okay and then paste it if you are able to do ssh on your jenkins server to your app server it's mean your previous configurations are properly configured okay you can see you are able to do ssh from this server without password okay so this was the reason that we don't need to uh, add some password to do ssh from our jenkins uh, server to our user so we are logged in successfully okay so now we are done now let's just move to your jenkins okay now we will try to build again okay i will just go to previous page okay and then i will try to build no this will be our build number 4 so it is started okay so it is also failed no let's check where the mistake is just open this and go to the console output okay it's giving us same error maybe we need to restart okay it is giving virtual environment is not found okay so what we have to do here we need to make sure our virtual environment configurations are properly configured or not okay all right so if you see we have an issue virtual environment is not found it's mean virtual environment is not installed on our jenkins server for example if you go to jenkins files and you can see here we are running some test 
on our Jenkins server. Okay, for this we need to make sure the virtual environment is installed on our Jenkins server. Okay, so these errors are good if you want to debug why it's coming. Okay, so let's now open the terminal. Okay, and here we need to just open our new tab for our Jenkins server. I will do SSH to my Jenkins server. Okay. I can just copy the public IP address here of my Jenkins server and I will just SSH and then here we need to install Python and virtual environment okay no I am logged in into my Jenkins server what I can do here I can just copy the commands I have added these two commands so you can just copy this first command it will install pip and python3 okay just go to your terminal and execute these commands next we can copy our next command which is virtual environment installation command okay so just open your terminal so we can wait while the python 3 and pip is being installed all right okay so now we can run the next command to install a virtual environment on our system just wait it is being updated so all right no python 3 and pip is installed now let's install the virtual environment okay just run this command so it will install the virtual environment on our system all right virtual environment is now installed now let's just go to your jenkins server okay here you need to just build the code again okay just go to your master okay branch then you have to just build it again and see if it's succeeded or not okay here you need to just click on build no okay and we will see if our build gets successful or not okay so so let's wait our build is started okay so if we check on the slag okay we can see the build was started and failed okay now let's check what was the issue in our build number nine okay so we can just open and check the console just go down and you will see we have any issue here the stage virtual environment is good okay everything is fine source not found okay so we have a mistake in our configuration file just open your code okay I will just update it here I will just make a change here and I will push it no okay so I why I'm preparing and doing some bugs because it is good if you face any issue you know how to figure out how to figure out where is the mistake in your pipeline okay meanwhile you will get the perfect and accurate scripts okay so you will don't need to change anything okay so I am just doing changes to show you how the errors are coming and how you can figure out okay so now you can see our build will be started automatically because we have post a new change you can see the build number 10 is started okay also we have received a message the build number 10 is started okay so if we go there and we can see the build is started and it is in process okay so we can see if it is go to successful uh, procedure okay so we can wait we can also see here uh, this it is up okay it is started so we can see if we get successful message if the build is successful we will get the message on the slack here okay 
so our build is in process we can just keep waiting so it's mean the build is processing successfully somehow that's why it is taking time because the tests are processing okay you can see our build is no successfully deployed and ci cd pipeline is working fine okay you can see the build is successful it's mean we have done perfectly okay how we can see just go to your no ip address okay okay you can see our changes everything is deploy how i can show you new changes for example i want to change this title and the changes will be automatically deployed just go to your url start py file okay i will say here blog admin 100 okay so we will see if the changes are reflected or not okay let's push the code okay up okay new updates are there okay and we can just wait here okay it will be our build number 11 okay so we can wait when our slack will be notified that new build is started okay so it will be build number 11 okay we can also <clears throat> you can see build number 11 is automatically started and we will see the notification here as well just wait for the new notification okay okay you can see build number 11 is started okay so we can wait till the build is successfully done okay so build is not started it seems our build is going to be successfully completed soon okay our build is successfully completed no just refresh it you will see the title changes here okay you can see our title is changed so you can know easily just change your code and push it to the github okay and it will be automatically deployed to your server okay we are done with this i hope this video has been helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel if you have any questions or feedback, leave a comment below. I will get back to you. Stay tuned for more courses and tutorials. And until next time, goodbye.